One moment, please. Good afternoon. Today we are learning about regular expressions on Free Code Camp. I am both scared and excited. Um, because regular expressions are awesome. They're hard. Introduction to the regular expression challenges. Regular expressions are special strings that represent a search pattern, also known as a regex or reg expression short. They help programmers match, search, and replace text. Regular expressions can appear cryptic because a few characters have special meaning. The goal is to combine the symbols and text into a pattern that matches what you want, but only what you want. This section will cover the characters, a few shortcuts, and the common uses for writing regular expressions. Let's go to the first lesson. <clears throat> Regular expressions are used in programming languages to match parts of strings. You create patterns to help you do that matching. If you want to find the word the in the string the dog chased the cat, you could use the following regular expression. Notice that quote marks are not required within the regular expression. JavaScript has multiple ways to use regexes. One way to test the regex is using the test method. The test method takes the regex, applies it to a string, which is placed inside the parentheses, and returns to true or false if your pattern finds something or not. For example, let test string equals free code camp. It's looking for code. You use dot test. On the regex, pass the string, and that would return true because code is located in the string. Apply the regex, my regex, on the string, my string, using the test method. We need to change this line, so we need to test my string. last challenge you search for the word hello using the regular expression hello between two forward slashes the, reg the regex search for a literal match of the string hello here's another example searching for a literal match of the string kevin any other forms of kevin will not match for example the regex kevin will not work on lowercase kevin or uppercase kevin future challenge will show how to match these those other forms as well complete the regex waldo regex to find waldo in the string waldo is hiding with a literal match so we want to find a waldo
using regex regex's like coding you can find the pattern coding in another string this is powerful to search single strings but it's limited to only one pattern you search for multiple patterns use the using the alteration or or operator the pipe symbol uh, this operator matches patterns either before or after it. For example, if you want to match yes or no, the regex you want is right here. You can also search for more than just two patterns. You can do this by simply, you can do this by adding more patterns with more or, or operators, separating them like yes, no, maybe. Complete the regex, pet regex, to match the pets, dog, cat, bird, or fish. So dog, cat, bird, fish. Your case while matching. Up until now, you've looked at regexes to do literal matching of strings, but sometimes you might want to also match case differences. Case, or sometimes letter case, is the difference between uppercase letters and lowercase letters. Examples of uppercase are A, B, C. Examples of lowercase are A, B, C, lowercase. You can match both cases using what is called a flag. There are other flags, but here you'll focus on the flag that ignores case, the I flag. You can use it by appending it to the regex. An example of using this flag is ignore case followed by the I flag. The regex can match the strings, ignore case, ignore case, or case. Write a regex FCC regex to match free code camp no matter its case. Your regex should not match any abbreviations or variations with spaces. So we want And we're ignoring case. Extract matches. So far, you you have only been checking if a pattern exists or not within a string. You can also extract the actual matches you found with the match method. To use the match method, apply the method on a string and pass in the regex inside the parentheses. Here's an example. We have our string hello world. We're gonna do a match on it looking for hello, so it returns hello in an array. Apply the match method to extract the word coding. Um, so we have our string and we're gonna match the coding regex. Find more than the first match. So far, you have only been able to extract or search a pattern once. Um, so we have the string repeat, repeat, repeat. We're looking for that word repeat. Um, and when we do the match, it's only pulling one of them. Search our extract or our to search or extract a pattern more than once. You can use the G flag. All right. Using the regex star regex, find and extract both twinkle words from the string twinkle star. Now you can have multiple flags on your regex like this. Okay, and they've made one uppercase and lowercase, so they want you to do this. So we're looking for twinkle. And we want to say GI so that it is. Pulls both of them with G. And I is ignoring the case. Oh, we need to 
then take uh, and put a match here and use the star red jacks. Uh, match anything with wild card period. Sometimes you won't or don't need to know the exact characters in your patterns. <clears throat> Thinking of all words that match say a misspelling would take a long time. Luckily you can save time using the wild card character. Wild card character period will match any one character. The wild card is also called a dot and period. You can use the wild card character just like any other character in the regex. For example, if you wanted to match hug, huh, hut, hum, you can use the regex hu period to match all four words. <clears throat> Complete the regex on regex so that it matches the strings run, sun, fun, pun, nun, and bun. The regex should use the wildcard character. So we're going to change this line. And just like that. Learned how to match literal patterns and wildcard character. Those are the extremes of regular expressions, where one find finds exact matches and the other matches everything. There are options that are a balance between the two extremes. You can search for a literal pattern with some flexibility with character classes. Character classes allow you to define a group of characters you wish to match by placing them inside square brackets. For example, if you want to match bag, big, bug, but not bog, you can create the regex E and then in brackets all the characters you want to support or look for uh, to do this. The is the character class that will only match the characters A, I, and U. Use a character class with the value, vowels A, E, I, O, U in your regex vowel regex to find all vowels in the string quote sample. Be sure to match both upper and lowercase vowels. So we're going to change these two lines. Um, We're looking for all the vowels. And we want all of them. And we don't care about the case. We need to change this line. We have our regex. So we're going to pull our match off of it. Pass in. Wait. Up. Quote sample dot match. Sorry, trick me there. So it's on the string. We're gonna match on the string using the regex. That should give us tricky. You saw how you can use character sets to specify a group of characters to match. But that's a lot of typing when you need to match a large range of characters. For example, every letter in the alphabet. Fortunately, there's a built-in feature that makes this short and simple. Inside a character set, you can define a range of characters to match using a hyphen character. For example, to match lowercase letters A through E, you would use a three bracket. 
Okay, match all the letters in the string quote sample. Be sure to match both upper and lowercase letters. Now can I just do um Can I do that? Does that work? Let's see. Oh, we have to change this too. So we have quote sample. We're doing our match against this regex. All right. So you can do that. It was just expecting me to get every character. So I need to do the G as well as the I. Um, using the hyphen to match a range of characters is not limited to letters. It also works with a, to match a range of numbers. For example, uh, this regex matches any number between 0 and 5, including the 0 and 5. Also, it is possible to combine a range of letters and numbers in a single character set. Create a single regex that matches a range of letters between H and S, and a range of numbers between 2 and 6. Remember to include the appropriate flags in the regex. So H through S and two through six and we want that I believe and then we have to take our quote sample do a match on it with this spread checks. We're good to go. See here, match single characters not specified. So far, you have created a set of characters that you want to match. You could also create a set of characters that you do not want to match. These types of character sets are called negated character sets. Create a negated character set. You place a caret character after the opening bracket and before the characters you do not want to match. For example, this regex matches all characters that are not a vowel. Note that characters like these and white space are matched. The negated vowel character set only excludes the vowel characters. Create a single regex that matches all characters that are not a number or a vowel. Remember to include the appropriate flags in the regex. Not a number or a vowel. We need character set and then we need this or not and zero through nine for all of the numbers. No vowels. And then we also need this to make it get all matches. And this to ignore a case. And again, we need to take the string, do a match on it with this red X. Awesome. Match characters that occur one or more times. Sometimes you need to match a character or a group of characters that appears one or more times in a row. 
This means it occurs at least once and may be repeated. You can use the plus character to check if that is the case. Remember the character or pattern has to be present consecutively consecutively. That is, the character has to repeat one after the other. For example, this regex would find one match in A, B, C, and return A. Because of the plus, it would also find a single match of A, A, B, C, and return A, A. Or instead checking the string a b a b it would find two matches and return a a because the a characters are not in a row there's a b between them finally since there is no a in the string b c d it wouldn't find a match you want to find matches when the letter s occurs one or more times in mississippi write a regex that uses the plus sign All right, so we're just changing this line. They have the match set up for us. So we need S plus, and then the global. I don't know that we need the I right now. Let's test, no. Match characters that occur zero or more times. The last challenge used the plus sign to look for characters that occur one or more times. There's also an option that matches characters that occur zero or more times. The character to do this is the asterisk or star. There's also an option that matches characters that occur zero or more times. So in this example, we have the soccer word goal. Um, the G phrase is gut feeling. The O phrase is over the moon. And the go regex is looking for a G, O that, a G, and then an O that occurs, it's or, a G or O that occurs zero or more times. We pass match we can do the go our G phrase. It does match the G because the zero is or the O is zero or more times. If we pass the O phrase, it's gonna return null. Because while there is an O, there is not a G. Create a regex, Chewy regex, that uses the star character to match all the upper and lower A characters in the Chewy quote. Regex does not need flags and it should not match any of the other quotes. So no flags it should not match any of the other quotes. <laughs> I'm going to take a guess it's going to be like this.
All right, let's look at this. So I messed up by putting it in. I should have looked at this example. It doesn't use a character set. And it just wanted me to do the big A. Let's just move on. Find characters with lazy matching. In regular expressions, a greedy match finds the longest possible part of a string that fits the regex pattern and returns it as a match. The alternative is called a lazy match, which finds the smallest possible part of the string that satisfies the regex pattern. You can apply the regex T anything through A through Z. Zero or more times, followed by an I. To the string Titanic. The regex is basically a pattern that starts with T, ends with I, and has some letters in between. So it should return this, yeah. Regular expressions are by default greedy, so the match would return a Titani. finds the largest substring possible to fit the pattern. However, you can use the question mark character, change it to lazy match, Titanic, matched against the adjusted regex of turns TI. Okay. It's the regex to return the H tag H1 and not the text H1 winter is coming. Uh, remember the wild card in regular expression matches any character. Well, that was easy. Uh, find out one or more criminals in a hunt. Time to pause and test your new regex writing skills. Oh no, a group, a group of uh, a group, a group, a group of criminals escaped from jail and ran away. But you don't know how many. However, you do know that they stay close together when they are around other people. You are responsible for finding all of the criminals at once. Here's an example to review how to do this. The regex. Uh, Z plus matches the letter Z when it appears one or more times in a row. It would find matches in all the following strings. But it does not find matches in the following strings since there are no letter Z characters. Write a greedy, a greedy regex that finds one or more criminals within a group of other people. A criminal is represented by a capital letter C. We're changing this line. There you go. Match beginning string patterns. Prior challenges showed that regular expressions can be used to look for a number of matches. They are also used to search for patterns in a specific position in specific positions in strings. In an earlier challenge, you use the caret character inside a character set to create a negated character set in the form uh, things that will not be matched outside of a character set. 
Outside of a character set, the carrot is used to search for patterns at the beginning of strings. Side of a character set, the carrot is used to search for patterns at the beginning of strings. So if we have the first string, Ricky is first and can be found, and we just do Ricky, and we do a test, returns true. You can't find Ricky now because it's not. at the beginning use the character character in a regex to find cal only in the beginning of the string ricky and cal all right so should be just like this In the last challenge, you learned to use the character the carrot character to search for patterns at the beginning of strings. There is also a way to search for patterns at the end of strings. You can search the end of strings using the dollar sign character at the end of the regex. So we have the string the ending. This is a never ending story. Story regex is looking for story at the end of the string so if we do test on this regex when we pass the ending it returns true because story is at the end story is not the end here so it returns false use the use the anchor character a dollar sign to match the string caboose at the end of the string Caboose. Oh, wrong, wrong. There we go. I knew that. Match all letters and numbers. Using character classes, you were able to search for all letters of the alphabet with a dash z the kind of character class is this kind of character class is common enough that there is a shortcut for it although it includes a few extra characters as well the close, closest character class in javascript to match the alphabet is backslash w this shortcut is equal to a through z uppercase a through z lowercase zero through nine and underscore So this is the longhand form, this is the shorthand form, plus means one or more. So we have numbers is a string that's 42, bear names is a string, important bar. So if we do longhand and we test numbers, it returns true. Shorthand test the numbers, it returns true. And same with uh, this. Alright, the shortcut character classes are also known as shorthand character classes. Use the shorthand character class uh, backslash W to count the number of alphanumeric characters in various quotes and strings. Now I'm wondering if we need the G here, but let's test it without. And we also need the I.
Might have missed some. So what were we doing before? I think I think this still matched like this matched like the whole thing. Because it's any one or more characters. Um like this. So when we changed it to this, it only started looking for one of them. So we got one, two, good, good. Learn that you can use a shortcut to match alphanumerics uh, using the W shorthand thing. A natural pattern you might want to search for is the opposite of alphanumerics. You can search for the opposite of W with the uppercase W. Note that the opposite pattern uses a capital letter. This shortcut is the same as not any of these. So we have the shorthand there. Um, we have numbers is a string and sentence coding is a string if we use numbers and we're trying to match the shorthand it's going to return the percentage symbol and this returns exclamation use the shorthand character class to count the number of non-alpha numeric characters in various quotes and strings so again, I think we're just doing this. Um, match all numbers. We've learned shortcuts from common string patterns like alphanumerics. Another common pattern is looking for just digits or numbers. The shortcut to look for uh, digits or for digit characters is a backslash D with lowercase D. This is equal to the character class uh, zero through nine, which looks for a single character of any number between 0 and 9. Use the character, the shorthand character class to count how many digits are in movie titles. Written out 6 instead of 6. Written out numbers, 6 instead of 6 do not count. Alright. So we're looking for any... I believe it's just that. Yep. Match all non numbers. The last challenge showed how to search for digits using the shortcut back um, slash D. Lowercase D with the lowercase D. <laughs> you can also search for non digits using a similar shortcut that uses an uppercase D instead. Shortcut to look for non digit characters is. X slash uppercase D. This is equal to the character class not 0 through 9, which looks for a single character that is not a number between 0 and 9. Use the shorthand character class for non digits to count how many non digits are in movie titles. So again, and then we're going to do a G here. Strict possible usernames. Usernames are used everywhere on the internet. 
They are what gives users a unique identity on their favorite sites. You need to check all usernames in a database. Here are some simple rules that users have, have to follow when creating their username. Lonely numbers in the username have to be at the end. There can be zero or more of them at the end. Username letters can be lowercase and uppercase. Usernames have to be at least two characters long. A two character a two letter username can only be can only use alphabet lettered characters. Change the regex to fit the constraints listed above. Alright. Only numbers in the username have to be at the end. Zero or more of them at the end. Well, we have our digits now. So I believe digits at the end. Username letters can be lowercase and uppercase. So we'll do an I here. Usernames have to be set, have to be at least two characters long. Two letter username can only use alphabet letter characters. to be at least two characters long. Get a hint. <clears throat> the only numbers in the username have to be at the end. We almost had this right. And that makes sense because it is zero more. Username letters can be lowercase or uppercase. We got that right. Usernames have to be at least two characters long. Oh, did we not learn about this? A two letter username can only use alphabet characters. So we have A through Z, 
which will match uppercase. And then this says it has to be two or more because it's app. Match A through Z, two or more. Um, I don't know what happened. And then it yeah, can be any digits, zero or more at the end of it. Oh, this is two. There's nothing after this. Match white space. The challenges so far have covered matching letters of the alphabet and numbers. You can also match the white space or spaces between the letters. You can search for white space using backslash s, which is a lowercase s. This pattern not only matches white space, but also carriage return a tab form feed and the new line of characters you can think of it as similar to the character class this is for return tab something new line so let white space white space okay this is a string white space white space everywhere the space rejects here which will mask match a space and any of these kind of characters and we're gonna use the G flag to do all the matches so it should come up with two of them and these two here change the regex count white space to look for multiple white space characters in a string so just like it showed us, we're going to do just like this. And we should get one, two, three, four, five. Match non-white space characters. He learned about searching for white space using uh, backslash S with a lowercase S. You can also search for everything except white space. Search for non-white space using uh, backslash uppercase s. This pattern will not match white space carriage return tab form feed and new line characters. You can think of it being similar to the character class, not any of these things here. Let white space same string as before, and now we are just using the capital S here, so it should return everything besides. So it's counting all of these characters. Change the regex count non-white space to look for multiple non-white space characters in a string. So capital S and G for all of them, not just the first. What's up, Sophie Vax? How's it going? How's, how's your day? Thanks to you, I was up until like 4 a.m. Cheers. See what you've done. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Specify upper and lower number of matches. Recall that you use the plus sign to look for one or more characters and the asterisk to look for zero or more characters. Going pretty well. These are convenient, but sometimes you want to match a certain range of patterns. Oh, you know. You know what you've done.
can specify the lower and upper numbers of patterns with quantity specifiers. Quantity specifiers are used with curly brackets. You put two numbers between the curly brackets for the lower and upper number of patterns. For example, to match only the letter A appearing between three and five times in the string, uh, your regex would be A anything three to five times H. So that should match and this one shouldn't because it doesn't have three A's. I did. I boosted my druid because it was the lowest class that I had. And Demon Hunters, you can start at level 98. So why would I boost a class to 110 that starts at level 98? That'd be silly. So Druid it is. Change the regex O regex to match only three to six letter H's in the word O oh, no. So we're looking for H's <clears throat> three to six. the regex o oh, regex to match only three to six letter h's in the word oh no like this is this what we need to do it is all right let's look at it so it wanted a more exact match so we put the capital o and then it's matching any number of h's uh, that are three to six characters in length followed by space and no <clears throat> Specify only the lower number of matches. You can specify the lower. What level are you, Des? With the quantity specifiers using curly brackets. Sometimes you only want to specify the lower number of patterns with no upper limit. Only specify the lower number of patterns. Keep the first number followed by a comma. For example, to match the only string. Ha, with the letter A appearing at least three times, your regex would be. All right, so this is, we did this a couple examples back. <clears throat> so three to any. Uh, any number. Change the regex, ha, regex to match the word huzzah only when it has four or more letter Z's. So we have ha and then z's four or more and then ah uh, and 
Hmm. Uh, yeah. What you are. Specify exact number of matches. You can specify the lower and upper number of patterns with quantity specifiers using curly bracket. Sometimes you only want a specific number of matches. To specify a certain number of patterns, just have that one number between the curly brackets. For example, to have to match only the word ha with the letter a three times, your regex would be ha three. So it would only match if there's three a's. So this example, four a's. This one has three a's. This one has a hundred A's. So it will only return the one that's true. That has three. Change the regex Tim regex to match the word timber only when it has four letter M's. I. So we have T I M and then four M's. Burr. Burr. Check for all or none. Sometimes the patterns you want to search for may have parts of it that may or may not exist. However, it may be important to check for them nonetheless. You can specify the possible existence of an element with a question mark. This checks for zero or one of the preceding element. You can think of this symbol as saying the previous element is optional. For example, there are slight differences in American and British English, and you can use the question mark to match both spellings. So we have the word color. In American, there is no U. In British, there is. So with the rainbow red X, we have the word color, but the U is optional. So both of these return true. Change the reg X fave reg X to match both American English favorite and the British English favorite version of the word. So just do fave or it, and then we go to the U and we make that optional. Positive and negative look ahead. Look aheads are patterns that tell JavaScript to look ahead in your string to check for patterns further along. This can be useful when you want to search for multiple patterns over the same string. There are two kinds of look aheads positive look ahead and a negative look ahead. A positive look ahead will, will look to make sure the element in the search pattern is there but won't actually match it. A positive look ahead is used as um in parentheses question mark and equal sign followed by whatever you're looking for it looks like where the periods is the required part that is not matched on the other hand a negative look ahead will look to make sure the element in the search page search pattern is not there a negative look ahead is used as question mark exclamation period uh periods where the periods is the pattern that you do not want to be there. The rest of the pattern is returned if the negative look ahead part is not present. Look aheads are a bit confusing, but some examples will help. Yes, I did ask that, Sophie. Are you working? Let's look at these examples. We have a string quit, a string in the variable quit <clears throat> that is just Q U. No quit is Q T. And then we have a Q U regex and a Q regex. So if we do a match on the the quit string. 
using the, the QU regex. Returns a Q and Oh, it's Labor Day. Oh, yeah, it is. That's why I decided that I could play WoW last night and not work on my proposal. Um, let's see here. A more practical use of look ahead is to check two or more patterns in one string. Here is a naively simple password checker that looks for between three and six characters and at least one number. So the QU, it's looking, it wants to make sure level 112. Nice. I don't know what level I, I am right now. Probably 110. Pretty sure it's 110. I don't think I leveled yet. Pretty sure I didn't. So this regex is looking for Q and it will match Q and then we have a look ahead. It's looking and it wants there to be a U. So this is why this passes here and then this one, this one matches the Q because there's not a U at the end. In this example, we have our password ABC123, and there's a look ahead. It's looking for any uh, characters. Um, I think that's alphanumeric characters uh, between three and six characters in length. And then there's also a look ahead for... I don't know, some kind of magic? What? Here's a naively simple password checker that looks for between three and six characters and at least one number. Use look aheads in the password regex to match passwords that are greater than five characters long and have two consecutive digits. So we're going to have a look ahead. Um, characters that are at least five. And then we also have a look ahead. I think that's it. So we have a look ahead for any characters. We want the it to match if it has any characters that are five or more. So greater than greater than five. So maybe this needs to be a six. And also a look ahead, a positive look ahead that is looking for any digits. to 
One more. Nothing to repeat. Oh, let's get a hint. So remember to use two look heads to check the pattern in the string. The first look head is very similar to that given in the example. Only the lower number three is too low for a test case and the upper number is completely unnecessary. The first look ahead is only used to find a string consisting of a certain amount of characters. A second look ahead must be used to check for consecutive numerical values at the end of the string. At the end of the string? The second look ahead is also similar to that given in the example. However, this expression too must be modified to pass all test cases. Remember, specify the exact amount of numbers you want to appear at the end. Okay, the, the wording on this is confusing because if, uh, if a character has three consecutive digits, does it still have two consecutive digits? Yes. So that's confusing. Um... It doesn't it doesn't specify this as maybe this is needed for this look ahead. Sure. 
Should match ABC one, two, three. There we go. Reuse patterns using capture groups. Some patterns you search for will occur multiple times in a string. It is wasteful to manually repeat that regex. There's a better way to specify when you have multiple repeat substrings in your string. You can search for repeat substrings using capture groups. Parentheses are used to find repeat substrings. You put the regex of the pattern that will repeat in between the parentheses. To specify where the repeat string will appear, you, have, you use a backslash and then a number. This number starts at 1 and increases with each additional capture group you use. An example would be backslash 1 to match the first group. The example below matches any word that occurs twice separated by a space. So we have this repeat string regex regex. And so this is looking ahead for any um, one or more This is for the space. This is looking for anything with one or more characters. <clears throat> Called by space. And then uh, this to match the first group. Let's read this again. Some patterns you search for will occur multiple times in a string. It is wasteful to manually repeat re that regex. There's a better way to specify when you have multiple repeat substrings in your string. You can search for repeat substrings using capture groups. Parentheses are used to find repeat substrings. You put the regex of the pattern that will repeat in between the parentheses. To specify where that repeat string will appear, Use a backslash and then a number. That's why we're using the match method on a string will return an array with the string it matches along with its capture group. Capture groups and re regex to match numbers that are repeated only three times in a string, each separated by a space. <clears throat> Let me do this for space.
What? This one's hard. Get a hint. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh. I get it now. Okay. I see. Alright. So, anything created in here. We're looking for digits, any number of them. Followed by space. And now we want to use capture group this that we have already created instead of redoing it so we do one because it's the first one in the in the regex so s and then one And then the end of the string. Okay, I see. So this is beginning of string, end of string. And in between. Alright. Cool, cool. cool. Cool, cool. Use capture groups to search and replace. Searching is useful, however, you can make searching even more powerful when it also changes or replaces the text you match. You can search and replace text in a string using that replace on a string. This inputs the inputs for a replace is the is first the regex pattern you want to search for. The second parameter is the string to replace the match or a function to do something. So this guy is silver, that's not true, so we're looking for the silver regex, or here is the silver regex, which looks just for the word silver. We take the wrong text, we're going to replace it using the silver regex, and we're going to replace whatever that finds with blue, so we get this guy is blue. You can also access capture groups in the replacement string with dollar signs. So code camp dot replace. Uh, this is looking for any or more characters followed by a space. Followed by another. Okay, I see. So this is literally looking for any word followed by a space and any other word or characters, string of characters, and then it's swapping them. So it finds this exact, and then it swaps them around. The first match here this the second match it's this so when we swap them to one all right write a regex so that it will search for the string good and update the replace text variable to replace good with okie dokie so we're gonna find the word good and then we're going to change it to okie dokie Okie dokie. Sometimes white space characters around strings are not wanted but are there. Typical processing of strings is to remove white space at the start and end of it. Write a regex and use the appropriate string methods to remove white space at the beginning and end of strings. Note, the trim method would work here but you'll need a, to complete this challenge using regular expressions. <clears throat>
we're gonna have a replace here. It's gonna take the this regex. Um and it's gonna replace it with nothing. So we're looking for one or more spaces at the beginning or at the end. I think, I think this works. Result should equal hello world. <clears throat> Which just showed me what my result was. Um, Awesome. We did it without hints. So this, <clears throat> since it's not in a character set, this says look at the beginning of the string for any one or more spaces or spaces that are one or more at the end of the string. Did I say end over here? Beginning over here, end over here. And then we want to match all of them so we have our G flag. Oh, that was it. That was it. <sighs> All right. So that wraps it up for Reg X's on regular expressions on free code camp. <clears throat> Tomorrow. Looks like we'll be looking at debugging. Um, not too many lessons there, so maybe we'll do debugging and basic data structures. That wasn't that wasn't too too bad. Wonder why that wasn't working there. Anyways, I am off. I hope everybody's having a great Labor Day. I almost forgot. Thanks for the reminder, Sophie. 
I will be back later tonight, 8 p.m. EST for some Clash Royale. Still trying to hit 4,600 trophies. And I will, of course, be back tomorrow for some more free code camp. Um, again, we'll be looking at debugging and basic data structures. So if you like this, I, I, hope, I hope to see you there. Later.